Well, here I am. Just opened up my uh, flash print here. As you can see, this is a free program. It's really nice because they let you download it before you've even bought anything from them. Unlike some other companies, you can try this out. Um, I'm just going to open up a file here. I'm going to go to this website. You can go on this website and get free things that are pre catted for uh, 3D printers. It's called the Thingiverse. If you haven't already figured that out. Here we go. I like this little dragon creature, so I'm just going to play with him for a few minutes. Um, it's pretty cute, I think. So we'll go, and you can just look at this file and go to downloading it. You can either choose to download all the files or just one. You can pick them. Um, they come in STL format, which is a standard format. So then I'll just go to my little dragon there thingy, move it to the desktop. That was easy. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm on a Mac, and yes, I am using Snow Leopard, not Mountain Lion or Lion. So it does work with that software. I've actually yet to test it with my Mountain Lion, but I'm assuming it works with that as well. Um, anyway, here I am just playing around with the size. There's it's easy to scale it. You can scale it to the maximum. That's what I'm doing there. Um, move. Um, oh, I forgot to select the thing. <laughs> so you have to select it first, obviously. Otherwise, it won't know what you want to move. Um, there you can play with around with that. It has two uh, extruders, so you'd want to set the one you'd want to use, uh, especially if you're using the dual extrusion, which would be using the both extruders at the same time. Here you can uh, check out different views of the object. That's pretty self-explanatory. And to go back to your normal view, you just reset. And you just kind of move around freely. That's what I'm doing right there. I'm um, just kind of playing around. Oh, there. When it's white, it's selected. Uh, you can go down to the bottom there, and you can see there I'm pointing to the Z axis. That means up. The That's the axis that the green one, yeah, that means back there. It's just kind of indicating where those axes are and how you can move things up, down, to the side, etc. I just made a duplicate of the thing just so I can show you some more how to play around with it. Like, say you wanted to have things that you wanted to put one of these on top. I'm trying to show you how I'm going to just play around and sort of create a new thing using these two pre-existing things. Um, so, you, of course, you want to have your thing selected. The red means it's touching an area where it probably shouldn't be touching and it won't uh, print well if you have something that's touching the red part. Uh, you want to make sure your objects are not touching the uh, red thing. So, if you get that red wall that pops up, that's not a good sign. Okay, so here I am just moving him over. So, X moves it to the basically to the right y moves it to the le y moves it to the front or the back and z moves it up and down so green is y z is blue and red is there okay and also when you print your objects you want to make sure they're on the platform so there's actually an automatic setting for that you click there make sure he's on the platform. Oops. Moved him back a little farther. There you can check your view also by um, moving around. There I made him kind of fit in there. I want to 
look at the top though. That's what's covering it, but that's okay. If I wanted to make a little, like a mommy monster and a little baby monster or something like that. Kind of nestled in there. It's kind of what I'm creating here. Two little monsters, sort of a mommy and a baby monster. Um, you can see what it's going to look like. I kind of can join them there. You can see if they're... Yeah, there, that's covering that up so you can't really see anything. Mommy monster is covering up baby monster. Anyways, you can see there from the bottom that the white thing, the baby monster here, in our case, is selected. The gray thing, the mommy monster is not selected. If we can select all things, but uh, for right now, we'll just leave the baby monster selected and move him around a little. You can scale uniformly, or you can scale um, in different ways. I just chose to scale uniformly. That's the default. Um, that's how I was scaling Baby Monster. But uh, I may do some more preview videos of how to use this program in the future. It's really quite easy, but also you can't really do much with it. However, if you get sort of creative, um, you can do a lot. even with just these sort of simple tools. I can't, I'm going to probably be showing you a video in which I do some things that are a little bit more complicated in a program called MeshLab, which you can also download for free. I'll have uh, links to both of these uh, programs in the uh, description. So I hope you'll find that useful. And they work both on Mac and PC, so no need to worry about that. Um, just have to download the right version. Anyway, so here I am just kind of canoodling around here some more. So I'm showing you. Oh, see there, I hit the red wall, so I don't want to do that. Make sure I have the right thing selected there. Uh, again, I was accidentally hit the scaling for that. So, oh, I wanted to scale up the baby monster, not the mommy monster, so that he was kind of sitting underneath the mommy monster's foot there. Um, and so then I decided I didn't really like that position, so I moved him around. Still not really getting the right position here. I don't know if I like the way that those tails overlap. Uh, so I decided to try to scale them down again. Remember, you gotta have your white object. That's the selected one. The gray one is the one that is not selected. So make sure you do that. And here we can look at a bottom view again of our two monsters and see how the two of them are overlapping and make sure that they are actually on the build plate they call it the platform the build platform in this case okay so let's try playing around with some different objects here I'm gonna delete that um, figured I should probably load something else before I go and delete that file so I'm gonna go and load something else right now I had some things I already downloaded, so I just am going into my downloads right now and finding something that I already downloaded. From Thingiverse. So I had this thing. As you can see, I've downloaded a lot of stuff here. Most of this is junk, but here we go. Okay, so one of these, just pick one. I pick this one. It's sort of a squarish shit looking thing. 
Now we'll get rid of our monster. Since I'm not actually going to print him, I was just playing with him. Mommy monster. Okay, so this is a handy dandy tool. Um, show you. You can rotate it freeform or you can rotate it in a 90 degree way. As you can see, again, it's not on the build platform, so I'm going to go back to the move tool and I'm going to place it on the build platform. But first, I have to have it selected, of course. So bring it onto platform there and center it. And now I'm going to make sure it's selected. Yes, white selected. And I will make it its maximum size it can be. And there, um, that's pretty much all for now, so, um, hope you guys will have fun and, uh, test this out. Obviously, when you want to have your printer all set up and everything, uh, you can just hit that print button and it will go right to printing it. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and happy printing!